On November 12, 1878, the first Seventh-day Adventist camp meeting in Texas was held in the town of Plano, at which the Texas Conference was organized. The first Seventh-day Adventists came to Texas in the late 1860s, after the end of the American Civil War. But Seventh-day Adventist preaching in Texas dates to 1875, when John E. Rust came to Texas from Michigan. After conducting a series of meetings, a company was organized in Dallas, which met in various homes and buildings in the Dallas area. In May 1876, Dudley M. Canwright came to the area to hold evangelistic meetings. He organized a church of 18 members in Dallas, and the next day conducted the first Seventh-day Adventist baptism in Texas. Canwright estimated that there were about 60 Sabbath keepers scattered across the state. In the same year, the General Conference asked Robert M. Kilgore to go to Texas in response to a request from Dallas for an evangelist. Kilgore went in May 1877, conducted tent meetings, and organized churches in 1878 at Cleburne, Peoria, and Tyrrell. In the same year, James and Ellen White visited Texas, took part in the camp meeting held at Plano in November, and spent several months in the area, mostly at Denison. At this camp meeting of 1888, the Texas Conference was organized with Robert Kilgore as president. The new conference had four churches and a territory embracing, theoretically, all of Texas, though in the early days the work was centered in the North Texas area, around where Southwestern Adventist University now stands. Also on November 12, but 26 years later, in 1904, seven people were baptized in Lima, Peru by Herman F. Kettering. This baptism was conducted in secret and the church's meetings were held behind closed doors. In April of 1902, Enrique Belada, a Chilean colporter, went to open work in Lima among a group of people there who had become interested in Seventh-day Adventist beliefs through Adventist literature. At this time, Peru, with Bolivia, Chile, and Ecuador, made up the West Coast mission of the South American Union mission. Balada did not stay long in Lima, but the adherents he won immediately began to experience hostility and to suffer persecution. When Balada left, the lay workers and the new converts requested that a missionary be sent to baptize them and organize a Seventh-day Adventist church. Eventually, in response, church leaders sent Herman F. Kettering, a German-American missionary who had been working in Chile since 1902 to visit the group in Lima. Kettering arrived October 13, 1904, and found a group of about 20 adherents. After holding discreet Bible studies, he conducted the first baptism in Peru 119 years ago this week. You can read more about Herman Kettering on the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists at encyclopedia.adventist.org. And on November 13, 1887, the 26th General Conference session was held at Oakland, California, with 70 delegates present. This was only the second General Conference session held outside Michigan, and the first held on the U.S. West Coast. George I. Butler was re-elected as president, and Uriah Smith and A.R. Henry were re-elected as secretary and treasurer. That was this week in Seventh-day Adventist history.